Well, I'm talking to Synaptics at uh, Computex uh, in uh, Taipei, and uh, we've been hearing a, a lot about AI, uh, but I'm going to be t speaking to Toma Kimi with Synaptics, and he's going to tell me a little bit about user pr presence detection and specifically um, getting down real with AI when we've been talking a lot about the, the high-level AI, the high-performance AI, but you know, this is real sort of uh, um, at-the-edge AI. Uh, Toma, hello. Hello. Um, yeah, that's, that's really true. I mean, a lot of people talking about AI, how AI is being uh, used, but this is actually bringing this into real life, real use cases, real convenience, usability, and uh, real life, uh, um, you know, features. So basically, this is my office environment. I'll be, you know, working with the multiple monitors. That's very, very common today. And we created for the first time a multiple sensor smart space. With this smart space and understanding of the user, that's myself, with the head pose, content, uh, facial landmark, uh, we created uh, a, a complex type of feature that you know brings you a very convenient every life uh, uh, usability case. One of the things is basically um, mouse cursor is being lost in the multiple uh, space. So ba from a head turn, I can just you know, control my mouse cursor, or even drag and drop windows, full understanding of head pose, facial landmarks. If I'm in a private environment and I need to just to glass my other screen, being engaged in this one, those one will be glassed out for keeping privacy and turning to where I'm looking at. Now the important part is that this is entirely edge-based, so all the information is not being stored, all biometrics is being computed, deep learning, neural network all being studied on the edge, transferring only metadata to the uh, main SOC and OS. Yeah. So, so what kind of like a, uh, what's the hardware behind it? What do you do? What do you develop? So it's an MCU with a neural processing unit accelerator inside that do the entire inference uh, deep learning. We have a set of neural networks being trained on face, on head, on pose, and that will be studied into the uh, chip. Inferencing is done there, and then the features experiencing and be decided on the OS level. And, and, and is this in, in uh, computers already, or where, where is it being deployed? Oh, definitely. So we've been shipping product like these for the past uh, four years. This is the new generation. Um, it's X50 in compute power. Uh, from a power perspective, power consumption perspective is actually lower in power consumption. It needs to work in an always-on environment while the system is in hibernation. So we're talking about a milliwatt scale of power consumption while the SOC is basically down. And, and that's, that's typically different to you know, what you know, user presence detection in laptops and PCs have been typically, which is basically having the whole system on. Yeah, that's true. We're, we're complementing the OS uh, with the, for instance, the Microsoft Windows Allow doing the authentication. But Microsoft authentication is finished once you log in. So it's a fire forget. And this is where we're taking the role and the lead, uh, tracking the ID and doing all these experiences on the ID base. So once I'll be leaving the premises, this will be all locked and glassed out. Well, Toma, thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you.